Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today is day 11 of May I Scrap Lift You, and we are scrap lifting Ashley the Scrapping Nerd. She posted this layout on YouTube on March 15th, and I will show that to you in more detail in just a moment. But And I will have a link to hers. I'm using Simple Vintage Lemon Twist from Simple Stories. I've had this for quite a while and only used it for one layout and tucked it away. And when I saw these bird pictures from a visit to the Montgomery Zoo in February when I was visiting these sweet girls and their mama, um, I immediately thought of this collection. So I pulled it out. And while the birds have more blue and the collection has more of a greeny tone, it worked. So here's her layout again. I'm going to follow it pretty closely, but I'm adding a six by 12 to it. So it's like one and a half pages that I am creating here. And at first I thought I was gonna put that black border on the right, but as I sat here and looked at it, I decided, no, I want some of that blue, greenish aqua blue over there. So I went to my cardstock stash <clears throat> and found this piece and created a frame for it. I did gut the aqua color so that I can use that for some other things on the layout. So I'm going to put these two photos here, this four block of the birds at the top. Those are just two by two squares. And I mounted those with white and then I put a black mat behind it, very narrow. And the photos just have a black mat. I am very sorry if you can hear my husband mowing grass. I have tried to guess when he's going to be done and I've started a whole bunch of times and quit and I just decided I just have to keep going. So anyway, I'm sorry if that is distracting to you. I like this um, journaling spot at the top. I wish I had left it as it is because I decided it was too getting too crowded there and I trimmed it down. I wish I had left it, but I didn't. There it is and it looks, it's fine. Um, I will put some journaling there later. I decided I want to have um, a blue border <clears throat> on the far left and on top of that blue border I am going to use my Creative Memories border maker system and create this, I don't know what the name of that one cartridge is called, but I create two of those and layer them together so that it has a little bit of dimension to it when I glue it onto the blue paper. So I'm just going to layer those up with my Nouveau. <clears throat> Thinking about how I want this to go. So I end up adhering the blue to the black. And I have to piece it together because I didn't I don't think I have another 12 inch piece of this same cardstock. You can't tell, it's fine, pieced together like that. And then I trimmed it off so that it was six inches wide and then glued the border down. <clears throat> now I'm using the other half of that circular piece, not even half of it, just a little part of it, to tuck behind that grid of photos at the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also fussy cut the flower on the bottom left from a 3x4 card. That's also where the circular element came from, was from a 3x4 card. I have two more little 2 inch pictures and I'm thinking about where to put those. They're very similar to two that are on the other page, but they're not exactly the same photo. They're like zoomed in or out a little bit. I thought I was going to leave them like this, but I end up moving that yellow one a little bit. So I have this piece that I trimmed off of the journaling block, and it's so pretty. I couldn't bear not to use it, so I just use it to create a corner behind the photo at the top. These birds, we were in an enclosure with all these parakeets. They loved my shoes. My shoes are, they're sandals that are real leather. 
and I have no idea, but they would not leave my shoes alone. They clung, when I walked, they were clinging to my sandals. It was hilarious. And I wish you could see the expression on the girls' faces. Um, I was sad that I had to cover them up because the looks on their all of their faces are just priceless. This was a fun, this was probably my favorite thing at the zoo. We, um, each of the girls bought a popsicle stick with bird seed on it and fed the birds. And there was a fountain there. It was just really, it was a relaxing place with the fountain and the birds. Other than them pecking on my shoes and tickling my feet. So I glue this flower down. I really like this flower. I wish I had a few more of those cards. <clears throat> I would have used more of them, but that's okay. I have tons of stuff to use with this and they are colors that I use a lot. So I'm going to have to think about ways to incorporate them more in order to get this collection used up. And I forgot here to ink the edges of my pattern papers, but I did go back and do that later. And most of the other ones that I put down, <clears throat> I do ink the edges. And what I ended up doing here, there's some dead space in the top right corner of that middle photo. And I decided the page would look less crowded if I put a bird picture there. But you can still see Emmy feeding the blue parakeet. <clears throat> this was another 3x4 card that I trimmed out to use there. And I did ink the edges of it, even though you can't really tell. Oh, here. I hadn't done it yet. This is just black memento ink. It's not my favorite, but it's the black that I can find right now. So that's what I'm using. Then I used all the manufacturer strips. I can't think of what they're called at the moment. Um, I had a whole bunch of them that I had trimmed off last time I was using this. And then I had two more today. So I've been tucking them in to create something to the far right. And then I also use the longer pieces to create kind of a shelf that the photos are sitting on. And I inked them and had to set them aside to dry for a little bit. And I had trouble getting this one to tuck under the pictures. I don't know why. They weren't stuck down right there, but it just didn't want to work. So I think I layered three or four of them there. <clears throat> And then it was time to start thinking about other embellishments and what I was going to use. So I pulled out some of the foam stickers. That should be coming in a moment. I thought I was already there, but gluing these down took longer than I thought, I guess. And yeah, now here I'm looking at the stickers. I really like this round one. It just says sweet moments. This color combination is just so pretty. I added some butterflies. I know they're not birds, but they do fly. So I decided they fit this um, foam sticker that says sunshine. Because I flew down there from Cleveland in February. And Cleveland in February is not sunny at all so I was thrilled to be in the sunshine then I pulled off some stickers I put a couple heart stickers down I added a butterfly sticker then I didn't have exactly what I wanted so I pulled out my bin of black and white embellishments <clears throat> I haven't used my color bins very often in the last couple of months so I'm trying to go to them 
more regularly for a little while to use up some of what's in there. And I found some black and white stickers and some clear stickers with black designs on them that helped fill in what I needed. Those two black and white heart stickers I pulled from there. And there's also a leafy one near the Life is Good and near the blue butterfly at the bottom right. And I didn't do a ton of journaling, but I just told about our day at the zoo and how fun it was to see the animals and about the parakeets loving my shoes. <clears throat> and that just about finishes this up. I do add a couple tab stickers behind a couple of photos or photo mats because they fit the color scheme and black and white and I had them and I thought they added a little bit that I liked. Still pictures are coming up. I will put um, a link for Ashley's channel in the description box below. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.